It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay, always there for you. Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Espresso only on SABC3. Hope you are enjoying this morning with us. Right now, we're stepping into the kitchen with a beautiful Gabriela Esposito. And uh, we're making an excellent salad this morning because it's World Egg Day. We're celebrating this wonderful, nutritious food. Um, Gabriela, this, this looks very colorful. What I see, we even have some edible flowers. What do you call these? Nasturtiums. Nasturtiums. <laughs> She's just telling me she was practicing this beforehand to not get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nasturtions. Okay, cool. So, so take us through the process of making this very healthy looking salad. Basically the first step is you want your leaves to be crisp. So first thing you're going to wash all your mm -hmm. leaves. We have a whole lot of um, assortments of lettuces. Okay. So you put them all together. Yeah, put them, wash them up first of all, then stick them in the fridge just to crisp them up just for about an hour. Okay. Okay, so you put all your leaves so together. So make sure that your ingredients are clean when you're making this salad. You can SMS the keyword salad, 233728. We'll send you on the Pick and Pay shopping list and a link to the recipe to making this very, very healthy salad. Now, there's quite a number of ingredients in here as well, I see. Yes, we have some chopped up beetroot here, which is very, very delicious. Mm -hmm. Some radishes, some fresh peas. You guys are going to put all of your ingredients yes. into the bowl first, except for two ingredients, your peanuts and your fennel. Okay. So we have your feta. Oh, lovely. Just divine. You have your lentil sprouts, mm -hmm. and you have your boiled eggs, of course. Yeah. Your, boiled eggs. your boiled eggs, that's our star ingredients. Morning, I can definitely see this around, you know, maybe around the pool, hot summer's day, yes. snacking on the salad, absolutely lovely. Now, here's the question, Gabriella. I mean, a lot of people might be asking, you know, what is the perfect way to boil an egg? I mean, if you don't have a timer, uh, or, or how do you go about that? Because I tend to sometimes not get it right. All the time. Well, basically, to start off with, always start it in cold water. Do not just put it in after the boil because your whites will spread everywhere. Really? So what okay. you do is you start it with cold water first and also always add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of salt to your water. This will firstly enhance the flavor and yeah. in case your egg does crack, it will make sure the white doesn't spread everywhere. Okay, and how do you tell when they, whether egg is off or, or not when you put it in the water? You basically, if an egg is off, it will rise to the top. You put it in a glass of water, it will rise. Okay. If it's fresh, it will sink to the bottom. So best you check that before you start because yes. oh, imagine that just breaks. There's nothing as bad as a smelly egg. Yes, no, definitely not. All right, definitely so basically not. you've got some, not all the ingredients in there just yet. No, not yet. We are also having some delicious sun-dried <laughs> tomatoes over here. Oh, there we which go. Which are divine. And yes, we're going to nice. put some of these in, definitely. And also remember to get your copy of the Sunday Times Weekly for recipes like these and a whole host of other delicious recipes as well. Get your hands on there and get uh, making those fresh salads this uh, weekend. Yes, no. No, okay. it's a delicious salad. Also, another thing to make it a bit of a different kind of salad if you're not a huge egg person, yeah. it's very nice to put this with um, grilled or poached chicken. And just for a lighter meal, you can just leave out the fat and just have the eggs and the leaves as well. Okay, cool. So most of our ingredients in now. Yes. What's 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 the next step? Well, now you just want it to look pretty. Okay. So we're gonna we toss our salad and we're just gonna lift it up. Okay. Oh, this looks yummy. So we're gonna put everything in a separate bowl. Perfect. Remember that keyword once again: salad to three three seven to eight. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list and a link to the recipe. And also, don't forget get your copy of the Sunday Times Weekly for a lot of delicious recipes this weekend. Yes. Okay. I think this is just taking a while, so I'm going to just take the bowl. It's perfect, you know. And <laughs> just, just scoop it in there, Gabriella. Yes. Well, as you said earlier, I just need to put a flower on it and so it makes it look attractive. You know, so. I think this flower, this is from our own garden, by the way. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. <gasps> so we have our salad over here. Okay, so I'll take that across from you. And then, yes, so now the final touches. So you have your roasted peanuts, which are absolutely divine. Just for an extra bit of crunch. It's always nice having a salad and you bite into it and it is that crunchy aspect. Yes. Your fresh peas. Mm hmm And a little bit of fennel, which is very good for you, by the way. Really? Fennel is very, very good for you. Lots of health properties in there. Yeah, and also a brilliant taste. It, it, it brings a unique flavor to the salad, I'm sure. Yes. And of course, just to make it look a little bit more attractive. Look at that. A little bit of salt. salt. Of course, everything with a pinch of salt, as I've learned in life. <laughs> a little bit of pepper. And then for the flowers? Yes, just lastly before the flowers, just a drizzle of olive oil ah. and just a dash of lemon juice, just to create a little bit of acidity, a little bit of flavor. And being Italian, olive oil is just always the finishing touch to a salad, I find. Brilliant. Just a drizzle. 
And would you like to put the flowers on? I would love to put the flowers on. I'm waiting for this. This is, this is actually what I'm waiting for. Just a chisel of lemon. <laughs> Look at that. Wait. See, it's your moment. It's my moment. I have to arrange it nice, you know. Can I do another one? Yes. I think I'll that's... Do all of them. Okay. No, I'm going to have to do all of them. That Look at that. Sweet. Pop of colour on top of our salad. SMS okay. the keyword salad to 33728. We'll get you all the ingredients and a link to the recipe. Gabriella, this is amazing. But you know where Thank this you. salad will actually look really cool? Where? I'll tell you after this. If you miss any of these, take a look at how we created this amazing salad. We'll see you after that. Toss peanuts with salt and cayenne pepper, then grill. Mix together the salad leaves, then add the beetroot, radishes, peanuts and sun-dried tomatoes. Crumble on feta, then add the peas. Arranged sliced eggs around bowl. Sprinkle with thyme, fennel and flowers. Dress with olive oil and lemon juice. And that is absolutely gorgeous and excellent salad. That keyword thank once again, salad to 33728. Gabriela, thank you so much. Thank now, you, I mentioned, can you imagine where you're going to see that salad? Can you imagine? Where? Yeah, where? On, on a beautiful cruise liner. The middle of a tropical oh, ocean. Definitely. Hey, can you imagine definitely. that? Well, it is that time of the morning, time for your cruise deal of the week. Kathleen, over to you guys. We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.